Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and today I have a pick a card um, and this one is why don't I like this person? This idea was given to me by a fellow sister here on Instagram um, and her she goes by Divine Pearls Insight and is a one word. I will, I will leave her name in the description box below. Thank you, honey, for giving me the idea. I really loved it. And I loved how she she said we can all relate this relate to this because this is very true. Haven't we ever met a person that we're just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know them. Or maybe some of you do know this person. Um, and you're just like, I can't put my finger on it. But this person doesn't does. I don't know doesn't I don't get along with this person or there's something about this person maybe you talk to this person maybe this person seems chill but your gut is telling you mm, there's something there I can't completely vibe with that person so this is what this reading is going to be about so I have several decks out here please take everything that I say with a grain of salt these are general readings so with that being said, like always, the timestamps will be listed in the description box below, along with my email for personal readings. And thank you very much for all of you who have booked a reading with me. I am booked this week and next week and the next week. So um, that is fantastic. Thank you very much for all of that. And let's get started with the reading. So I want you to concentrate on that person that you just for some reason don't vibe with your gut, whether it's because you don't like them or it's just in your gut. It's telling you something like this person something's off okay let's see i have a brand new deck here this is called the everyday enchantment tarot so we are gonna see what's going on i want you to concentrate take a deep breath pause the video or just head over to the description box or to the messages um, where i pin the timestamps and fast forward and if you have more than one person, by all means, feel free to um, pick more than one group. And I'm just doing three, okay? Let's see. Group number one. Ooh, group number two got two cards. Okay. And group number three. At the bottom, we have the Fool. These are such beautiful cards. We have the Fool. So many of you are on a new beginning. Many of you, this is a man you're dealing with. Maybe a childish type of man. Maybe a man who doesn't, I don't know, doesn't think things through. That's what I'm getting. Oh. Yeah, keep moving forward. Spirit is saying, don't get so caught up. And that's another thing here with these readings. Don't get so caught up on them. Okay, like what this per at least for this person that you don't vibe with just don't get caught up or too fixated on why you don't like this person okay let's see for group number two at the bottom we have expression so some of you this is a man who doesn't allow you to express yourself okay maybe always puts you down maybe always makes fun of the way you come across or makes fun of your comments in some way or this could be a female let's not just pick on my man here okay this could be a female as well with masculine energy could definitely be whoa now this one got two cards okay and let's see yeah for some of you just it's just all about redirecting your energy like i said do not get fixated on this person on this um situation This person likes to lead for someone this person likes to lead likes to be like the boss i kind of feel likes to show but then i feel like you're just like i don't i don't feel like your path is very much a path to be followed that's kind of what i'm getting like this person is so childish that you're just like how can you want how do you want to lead independent okay 
let's see let's see what's going on here so we have option one two and three like always the timestamps are listed in the description box below so let's get started because this intro has been too long and it's 555 okay so why don't you like this person people who chose option one this is the reason why you you don't like this person or you just i don't know if i want to use the word like you just don't vibe with that person maybe that's a better word wow three of blades okay so for some of you this could be a third party situation for some of you i feel like this person maybe gets in between your relationship this doesn't have to be like a person who's flirting with your significant other this doesn't have to mean that it's a person who's trying to get at your husband or your woman no i feel like this is a person who just like let's say you say something to your to your significant other and this person always has an opinion and it always is like in Spanish, it's called la manzana de la discordia, but in English, I don't, it's like the wedge between you and your partner, kind of. And I'm getting like this person really always likes to. I heard, I also heard, okay, so for some of you, this person gets in your relationship. For others of you, I'm getting this person is a Debbie Downer. That's Those are the words I just heard. So I feel like um, for some reason, you just don't. This person is always, um, always like, yeah, I'm, I'm sad. I don't feel good. Um, yeah, this happened to me. It's always has some type of like sad story to tell you. Always kind of like, like that, a Debbie Downer. For others of you, I feel like this person has betrayed you in the past in some way. Again, does not have to be in a uh, love scenario, but it could mean like this person has talked behind your back because this is the three of swords in this deck. So it's swords to me are all about communication so maybe this person has gossiped behind your back maybe this person is trying to make some type of a cut or a like i said a, a wedge between you and a significant other okay uh, for others of you like i said you're just dealing with a very sad sad person a person who is always feeling like the victim always feeling like the martyr always feeling like um they have something important like they're always everything happens to them okay that's kind of what i'm getting here and then some of you i'm being drawn like some of you just give your back to this person some of you just like yeah okay here she this person comes again with their sad story okay i'm just gonna you know look at the birds outside that's kind of the energy that i'm picking up here strength wow okay I feel like this person could also be very stubborn, very, um, very ego driven. I feel like they want the center of attention. They want to be seen. They want to shine. And I feel like this person, the way they want to shine though, it's not like through their accomplishment accomplishments, but more through like their, their, their sad situations of them, um, being in, in, unhappy situations or I just keep getting the word martyr martyr and for those of you who don't know what martyr means is someone who always feels like the victim who always feels like they're the ones being attacked so maybe you feel like this person is like that and maybe that's why you're not vibing with that person for some of you, this could mean this person is trying to get in your relationship, does not have to. Again, huge disclaimer. Um, this is only if you've already suspected it, if you saw something, okay? I feel like this person is a two-sided two -side person. Like, they show you this side. That's what I'm saying. Like, they play the martyr because they show you this side, the sad side. But in reality, no. They're, like, pulling the strings behind the scenario here but i do feel like this person there's an illusion about this person with the dragonflies that's what i'm saying i feel like there's two sides to this person okay and i feel like the, the side that you see it's this one for some of you i am getting that maybe this person comes off as very very snobby very like i know it all i know what's best for you i know what's best for your relationship i know what's best for 
um, whatever it is that you're, let's say you're going on a trip, they know what's best. They know the best route. They know the best place. They know the best. They got the hookups. But in reality, I feel like if that's the case, they're really sad inside and they feel like they want to control everything because in essential, essentially they are not, they can't control the sadness in their life or they can't control the deceptions that go on in their life or the wounds that they themselves are dealing with. Okay. So it could, so again, see, cause we, I have many subscribers, so I can't really pinpoint every single scenario here, but that is what I am getting. Oh, why is this? You're a beacon for others. I feel like, okay, for some of you, I'm getting like, you attract this type of person of like, this is my sad life story, you know, um, this happened to me, I don't know why, and you're kind of like their, their shoulder to cry on, okay? So for some of you, like I said, this person is a Debbie Downer, and you're kind of like their strength, and they put so much on your shoulders here. For others of you, I feel like this person is very cocky and they want to lead and they they feel like they know, they, they feel like they know the best route, the best way. So again, apply it how you see it, okay? I feel like this person could come off as a very strong leader, a very strong, um, confident person. But in reality, I feel like what you're picking up with your gut is that they're really not. Or it could be the opposite. It could be that they come to you very sad and you what you pick up is like you're not really you're very strong inside like why do you put yourself in this position why do you why do you um stay in this three of swords energy here okay fogged in go slow yeah i feel like there's a, like i said there's some type of an illusion with this person and even in the reading, like we see they contradict each other, right? We have a person who's really, really sad. And then we have a person who's really, really strong. So this person might be hard to read. This person might be someone that you're just like, you know, some days I feel like they're very confident. They're very good. They got their shit together. And then other days you're like, I don't know. She's depressed or he is depressed. And like, I don't know. I feel like this person is hard to read. Very hard to read. Because even the cards are very contradicting. So I feel like spirit is just telling here the advice is to go slow. Take your time to get to know this person. There might be a lot underneath that you're not seeing. There might be that maybe there, this person had a lot of betrayals in the past, right? This the three of swords. This person maybe has a lot of sadness that they're not dealing with. And so they come off as like very tough and like a strong cover. But in reality, maybe they're just really sad and they they don't want to feel vulnerable because maybe people took advantage of that so spirit is saying take it slow take your time to get to know this person yes there is an illusion yes you don't know this person very well but i feel like things will clear up very soon yeah then we have the patience card now is the time to learn study and gather information okay so be patient with this person Again, I'm getting the energy of like bipolar going from one extreme to the other here. Okay, one day this person is very good, um, very confident. And then other days this person is very sad and very lonely and um, wants attention in that way. Okay, and I don't even want to say it wants attention because maybe it's really who she is or who this person is. is that they carry a lot of sadness, but they don't want to show that. And that's why you're like, some days I see them as this, and other days I see them as that. And Spirit is saying, well, take your time, be patient to get to know them. And then we have Green Tara, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. I feel like this person doesn't like to share. There's two scenarios I'm getting here. Like I said, this person comes off as a wise leader. This person comes off as like they want to do everything they know what's best and you want to help or you want to have some type of input. And others of you, I feel like this person always wants to help you and you don't like that. Maybe this person, I'm saying there's an the energy of like this person butting in or like coming in between because maybe, maybe this person does have legitimate good ideas or things like that. And you just don't like that. You're just like, no, I know what's best for me. So apply it how you see it fit. Okay. Some of you need to allow this person to help you. And for others of you help this person, maybe there's more to this person that you're not seeing. Okay. 
So that is the reason why you maybe don't like this person. I hope this resonates or why your gut doesn't. Because I feel with this group, it's just like your gut is like, well, one one time she's like this, one time they're like this. Like, what do I, like, wh which one is this person, you know? There's a lot of confusion here with this person. So Spirit is saying, take your time, think, take things slow, talk things through, um, help each other. And don't try to do everything by yourself or don't let this person do everything by themselves, okay? So now to option two. Let me put this away. Option two, we have... Why don't you like this person or what is it about them that your intuition is telling you that they're not vibing with? Oh yeah, you guys got two cards. We got the King of Blades, so this would be the King of Swords. So maybe you're dealing with a man, okay? And the Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay, so there's some type of dynamic here of... You know, I'm getting kind of like maybe you are there's a water sign and an air sign here so i don't know if maybe you are one of these signs or this person has again two sides of the of the equation here i feel like sometimes this person is a very very strict king of swords very close-minded right um has their ideas and they're not going to budge. They're not going to change their ideas. They're very straightforward. They're even cutting with their words. They can win any argument. I feel like this person gives their opinion without you asking for it. That's kind of the energy that I am getting here. Okay. This person might be very well educated too. This person might be very smart, might be very good with their words, might be very convincing. And I feel like maybe that's what's triggering something in you. I'm trying to see exhibit 317 yeah see this person could really make a case okay so this person maybe <laughs> this person i feel like this person maybe like shows you facts right like you try to maybe see the good side of something with the knight of cups here maybe you like i want to see the good side in this person uh i want to see you know, the good side of life. And maybe this person comes in, this king of swords, and it's like, well, have you looked at the facts, X, Y, and Z? Do you, do you see how everything ties up? This person is very logical. And I feel like this other person is very much in their emotions. They're wearing this pink colored glasses. So I feel like this person triggers you or something in your gut. It's because this person is very... And, and you can interchange the roles, okay? This is general reading. So you can totally be the one that's very logical. And this person is very naive. And you could be like, how can you be so naive? Aren't you looking at the facts here? Aren't you looking at the of the tangible things of the, you know, things for what they really are? And you're over here looking at them on an emotional level. So, you know, take it as you will. But I feel like someone here is very logical and the other one is very naive one person wants all about the facts it's one way or the highway with the king of swords it's like this is how it is and if you don't like it then you know off to the highway i'm really sorry but i'm not changing for you i'm not changing for nobody this is what i believe right that's the king of swords the knight of cups is kind of like yeah, you know, he's in love with the, the idea of love. He's a very romantic person. He's very gullible. Um, he is very artistic, very much in touch with his emotions too. So we have two sides here. We have a person who is very much in their mind and one who is very much in their feelings. So I feel like you guys, that's the reason why you guys rub off because you guys are so different. One person might be older. Maybe this person that you're thinking about is older than you. And for some of you, maybe if you're the older one, this person is the younger one. Okay? And I feel like this person is like trying to tell you like, well, you're trying to see things from this aspect, but have you thought about this? So this person is always kind of giving you their unsolicited advice. Or this person is the type of person who is always bringing you facts and has a very strong opinion they're very smart and maybe that's what triggers you because sometimes we don't like it when we want something and we see that in the other person right so for some of you it's because they're very smart and you're like i wish i was like that i wish 
I was smart like this person. I wish I had a very strong voice, strong opinion. I could make a strong case about something. Uh, maybe this person is a good writer. It's a good communicator. For others of you, if this is you and who you are not vibing with is the water sign, then maybe you're just like, I wish I could be more into my emotions. I wish I could see the good in people and not focus so much on like the logical aspect. I wish I can fall in love with love and I wish I could be more romantic and I wish I could be more in my feelings. So there is this uh, interchange here of, of opposites, okay? And I feel like this is a relationship. There's someone here. We have two people in both cards. I feel like this is someone who is kind of like, so this could be, I don't know, this could be someone, I'm, I was going to say a parent. So this could be someone who is telling you something about a relationship, being like, well, what do you see in him? How is he going to support you? He sings in a subway. And maybe you don't like that. You don't like the fact that this person is too real. You're just like, I just want to feel it in the moment. I just want to enjoy the love that I'm feeling, the connection that I'm feeling. And maybe this person is like, well, how are you going to make a living? How are you going to support your children? Where are you going to live? But maybe this is the right person for you. Because if you look at it, they're both wearing the purple pants. So there's a connection. There's a psychic connection here with this person. But this woman looks more well off than him. Maybe this is giving me kind of like the scenario of like a father telling their daughter, you know, th this person is not good enough for you. This is the reasons why. And so, 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 so it gives you a list of things. And then you, maybe you're, you're into the artistic type. Maybe you're into something totally different than what your parents want you or this. Maybe you have an older friend who was very much in your face all the time, kind of guiding you, protecting you, but you don't like it. freedom yeah you want freedom for some of you maybe this is the person that you rubs you off the wrong way maybe because you're the you're the person who has like an a set belief of ideas here with the king of swords and you're just looking at this person like how can they be so free how can they not care how can they just live their life day to day how could they not think about long-term things? So, you know, this is triggering. And that's essentially, this is what this reading comes down to. When we don't like something, when we don't vibe with someone, what is it in us that is triggering us? What is it that maybe we admire something about this person that we have, but we're not courageous enough to be like, yeah, um, I should be more like that. Okay. Because I feel like there's someone here who is very freeing and very lives in the moment and very much in touch with their feelings. And the other person is more like, yeah, no, you know, you should think about the future. You should think about the facts. You should have an education. You should. And maybe the other person is more like, nah, I want to live my life uh, freely. See where it takes me. Right. You are stronger beyond measure. So this is, to me, very much a, a male person. There's a male person in your life. This is a man who is in your life that the, the person that doesn't rub you off, doesn't rub you off the right way. Like they're, I feel like this person is very much easy to judge, easy to make assumptions about a person or about a situation. And that's why you just don't vibe with them. Because you're very different. And it could just be that this person admires the way you live. They just can't admit it. Right? And for some of you, I feel like if you're on the other side of the spectrum, then this person has so much power, is so smart, is very good. Like I said, very good with words. And, and this intimidates you in some way. And Spirit is saying, well, you can be the same way too if you step into your power. You could be that strong too. And that's what I'm saying. Like these things go both ways. Sometimes we get triggered by other people because we wish we were more like them. Or we feel like we don't have that. But Spirit is saying you do. 
I feel like this person is always ready to fight. <laughs> always ready to make their case. That's what I keep hearing. You are flying high right now, Aurora. There's a lot of purple. I feel like someone here is very powerful. Either you are the very powerful person. Like you're, you're flying really high with the freedom card, the Aurora. And someone is like picking at you because you are in a position of power. And Spirit is saying it's just because they admire that. And maybe they're very, like, again, if they are the Knight of Cups, then maybe they're they're not very good at expression. They're not very good at uh, speaking their feelings. Okay, so be patient again. <laughs> and then we have freedom. I mean freedom. Okay, whoa, freedom. So some of you, I feel like you want to free yourself from this person. That's why I feel like this is a dynamic between an elder person, like a guardian, a parent, I don't know, but it feels to me like suffocation, like someone has very strict rules, very strict beliefs, very strict orders that you need to abide by, but you're very different than this person. And I feel like this person always pushes you to your power. For some of you, this person is the one that pushes you, pushes you and pushes you and tells you like, you're strong, you're, you, you can do it. You're more powerful than what you give yourself credit to. Maybe they're the ones telling you like, why are you here in the subway singing when you can be here in university doing a very good living for yourself? Um, that will essentially give you freedom. So there's this kind of like someone is being very kind of like a parent here. Okay. And I'm getting like, this is about a relationship, kind of like this person always butts into your relationships, into this, oh, this person always has an opinion about who you are dating because they either feel like they're not good enough for you or you can do better. I feel like this person has your back no matter what, but they're a very strong personality. They're very strong and they have an opinion and sometimes that gets on your nerves. That is what I am picking up. So now I'm going to go to option three. Again, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. So for group number three, why don't you like this person? Why doesn't, why don't you vibe with this person? The hermit. Wow. You know what I just got? This person is very slow. Maybe you're dealing with the Virgo. Maybe this person is a Virgo. I feel like this person is very much into their feelings. They don't express much. I feel like... Um, I feel like this person likes to be alone. I'm, get, I'm looking at the image of the dog here. I love German Shepherds, by the way. It's looking at this man like, are you just going to sit there? Are you really just going to sit there right now? I feel like this person is a type of a war warrior. Like they worry a lot. Not a warrior as in like fighting, but worry. Uh, worries a lot. I feel like this person is very much into their head. They're very nitpicky. They have a... Um, I feel like this person loves to correct you. I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe the Virgo vibe, but I'm getting like this person likes to correct you. This person likes to um, always nitpick at everything that you say and everything that you do. But this person is very loyal. I am picking that up with the German Shepherd here. I feel like this person is very knowledgeable. This person is an old soul, but this person is very slow. Even in the way they talk, they don't like to go out very much. They like to be a homebody. But I feel like they could shed light where things are dormant in your life and i feel like that's why it triggers something in you because this person brings kind of hits a nerve okay strikes a nerve in you i feel like this person doesn't like to be helped i don't know why i'm getting that but that's what i'm getting truth what did i say this person is very much nitpicky triggers something in you i feel like this person like i said shines a light into a truth 
whatever the situation is, this person shines a light on the truth and you don't like it. You're bothered by it. I also feel like this person speaks their truth. And they're a bit of a lonely person too. I feel like this person maybe does not have a lot of friends. For some of you, this could be an older gentleman. Um, you can see here with the white hair. But I feel like this person always speaks their truth, always has something to say. Doesn't, comes off as critical. But I feel like they're not really, they don't do it for that purpose. They do it because they want to help you. I also feel like they could see the truth in a situation, whatever that situation is. And I feel like sometimes we don't like that. As human beings, sometimes we don't like that because sometimes we prefer to to be blinded to certain situations. And I feel like this person doesn't let you put on those blind goggles on. This person calls it for what it is. This person tells you, this is the truth of the matter. What are you going to do about it? Aren't you seeing it? I also feel like this person could see both sides of the situation just because I see. I feel like both you you and this person could easily get into arguments really, really fast. <laughs> because I feel like these two women are about to swing their swords at each other. But I also feel like you learn a lot from this person. You don't want to admit that, but I feel like this person really teaches you a lot. And for some of you, this bother though the reason why this person doesn't vibe well with you is because maybe you're more of an out an extrovert, and maybe this person is more of an introvert, or this person likes to think things through, and you're just like, no, I want to do things in the spur of the moment. I feel like, you know what I'm getting? Kind of like you're in a group of friends and then you guys want to all go out, do something spontaneous. And then there's that one person who's always like, well, this and this could go wrong. So I feel like this person could be like that. And you're just like, well, can't you just keep your opinions to yourself? Can't you just like keep your negative thoughts to yourself? But I feel like this person speaks out of love and out of loyalty and out of protection for you. I don't feel like this person does it in like a mean way or to be hurtful towards you because they're very much connected to spirit very much the hermit is the person who seeks inwards right they seek their answers the answers lies within the truth lies within i feel like this person opens your eyes to things and you don't like that you don't like that at all the beginning of a new cycle. First light. See? Something about light. This person sheds light into something. And you don't like that because it brings the truth. What happens when we're in darkness and you shed light on it? You get to see things for what they really are. And I feel like this person does that and you just don't. You're like, nope, I wasn't ready to see that yet. Why would you show me that? Why would you tell me this? And then we have Crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive new and on the horizon that you just can't see. I feel like this person is a very good person. I feel like this person is very loyal. They're just very much into their own feelings. They're into themselves. So maybe that's why you don't get along with them because they're, like I said, they keep very much to themselves. They're very isolated. I also feel like this person changes a lot. For some reason, I'm getting like this person goes through cycles in their life. And the reason why I'm saying that is because then we have Kali here, endings and beginnings. And then we have first light, beginning a new cycle. So I feel like this person, because they revealed things to you, you have to, this per, since this person came into your life, there's like a never ending cycle of changes for you. Endings and beginnings, endings and beginnings. And I feel like it's because of this person, because this person helps you see the truth in the situation helps you open your eyes to situations that you didn't see before. That's I keep I keep getting like this person because this person speaks their truth. That's a very powerful card here in the middle. 
you're able to start anew because you're able to release things that don't serve you anymore because the truth is being shed. So this person, I feel like, sheds the truth in, in a lot of things in your life. And it causes, yes, pain because you're like, fuck, I need to start all over again or I need to um, restructure or rethink, rethink things through again. And maybe that's why you, you feel like maybe they're doing it as a bad intention, but they're really not. This person has a lot of knowledge and wisdom. A lot of spiritual wisdom, not even like wisdom that you gain through the years, but I feel like wisdom from spirit. I feel like this person is very much connected to spirit. So this person may come very, very seldomly in your life. This person may come in at certain points in your life. Maybe when you yourself are going through major transformation, that's when this person comes in. And you're just like, well, wait, why do you just come in when this is happening? And maybe this person brings in some type of a truth, some type of a hope, a faith of telling you, you know, everything's going to go well. Life's a cycle. So I hope this helps you guys. I really loved all of them, honestly. Take care of yourself and I will see you guys next time. Bye.